Hey everyone, Marty and Alana here at PAX West 2017. Uh, Alana, we spent the morning at the PlayStation booth. Did they had a ton of VR experiences. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the things you got to play that I'm very jealous of was Moss. Really cute mouse, you guys. I don't really know how to explain what this game is. It's definitely action-adventure puzzles, mm -hmm. Zelda style, but it basically starts and there's this cute little mouse one is in a frame and you're looking at this like really fantasy, beautiful grassy environment. And it's actually cool if you look down into the water, you can see your own face and you're basically a spirit. So you're acting oh, as a cool. spirit who interacts with parts of the world to get the mouse. Was it like the game. your face, like the camera literally reflecting? No, your I face? looked like okay. nose face from Studio oh, cool. Ghibli. Yeah. So I basically the way that getting the mouse through the world actually works is you control her with the stick, but you also every now and then have to use the move control or use the dual shock and actually physically move things. So oh. it's like there's two different mechanics for two different characters. Like you'll have to pick something up and move it and you can tell if you're supposed to interact with it physically in the movement mm -hmm. sense if it's going blue and okay. then everything else you just kind of control how to walk through. So okay. there's these two totally different play styles, one of them's physical, where you, I really felt like I was two different characters more than I ever have in any other That's game. That's really interesting. It sounds like it's a little bit like uh, Brothers, A Tale of Two Sons, but, it, but it's two very different methods of control, yeah. but both that make sense with either moves or with the dual shock. I mean, I think there's a little bit of a learning curve in there for me to be like, oh, that's right, there's this other thing that I have to do because mm -hmm. I'm playing this other role, but uh, I think that you'd pick it up pretty quickly, like if after an hour, you wouldn't even like forget. Mm -hmm. But it's also, they were really seamless, they worked together very, very well. Yeah. They complemented each other very, very well. And I guess aside from that, the combat was really, really nice. Like I really enjoyed that. Even after the small amount that I played, I felt like I kind of progressed and learned how certain enemies worked. And you can also manipulate them with the movement version where you can like pick enemies up and yeah. drag them and hold them and stuff. So it's like, this, it's really just very dual gameplay. It's cool. How uh, how was sort of the sense of scale? Because I feel like a lot of really effective third person VR things are where you can look in and it almost feels like you're looking into a diorama. Yeah, I definitely felt that way. And one of the cool things is if you lean in and kind of like get very, very close to the mouse character, uh, she will like pat you. Oh. And you can also pat her. It's very, very cute. Very nice. So yeah, definitely a really good sense of scale there. Um, the one thing that I didn't like about it is because it's kind of fixed camera. Every time that you change a frame or like go through a new door, there's like a cut to black and it's just a little bit too long. Like yeah. it's like three seconds yeah. or so, which like sounds like a very small amount, but it's a little like I was like, oh, I'm waiting. Like it, it wasn't just like really quick. I don't know why that was the case, but that's that's the only thing I didn't like about it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. Uh, very excited to play Moss. Uh, thank you so much, Alana. Uh, for all things PlayStation and PAX West, you're in the right place. IGM.